hello everyone in this video session i am going to practically demonstrate a java program to print triangle alphabet pattern so what exactly is this triangle alphabet pattern let me show you directly so this is how guys a triangle alphabet pattern will look like we need to write a java program to print this pattern for that we need to find out few details by looking at this pattern guys that is how many rows are there in this pattern so first row second row third row fourth row and fifth row total five rows second thing we need to find out from this pattern is how many spaces are there before printing the alphabets in each and every row of this pattern how many spaces are there in the first row before printing this alphabet how many spaces are there one two three four four spaces what about second row before printing the alphabets in the second row there are 1 2 3 total three spaces third row before printing the alphabets there are 1 and 2 spaces fourth row before printing the alphabets there is only one space in the fourth row and what about fifth row zero spaces so zero spaces in the fifth row like this the second thing we need to identify or find out before writing the code for printing this pattern now third thing is how many alphabets are there in each and every row of this pattern in the first row how many alphabets are there only one alphabet that is a what about second row second row has two alphabets a and d third row has so the number of the row is 3 number of alphabets is also 3 like that guys okay the row number is 1 number of alphabets is 1 the row number is 2 the number of alphabets is 2 row number is 3 Number of alphabets in the row number three is three, like that. The row number four, four. Row number five, five alphabets are there, like four comma five, like this. Now, based on these things, we need to write a Java program so that this pattern can be achieved. So let's go here and let's start creating a for loop, guys. This for loop need to iterate how many times? Five times. Since there are five rows in this pattern, one, two, three, four, five. we have to create a for loop which will iterate how many times five times so i'll write that int i is equal to 0 i less than 5 then i plus plus like this i'll write this for loop will iterate how many times five times starting with 0 the first iteration value of i is value of i is 0 in the first iteration second iteration i plus plus will happen i will become 0 to 1 so still true so the third iteration it will be i will become 2 still true fourth iteration i will become 3 still true 3 less than 5 is still true in the fifth iteration i will become 4 4 less than 5 is still true in the sixth iteration when i becomes 5 5 less than 5 is false so 5 will not happen here i cannot take the value 5 starting from 0 till 4 so how many times this for loop is going to iterate 1 2 3 4 5 total 5 times fine this for loop is going to iterate five times now the next thing what we need to do is instead of worrying about spaces now we'll we'll uh, come to the spaces at later part of the program guys first we'll try to print the alphabets okay once we print the alphabets then we'll try to add the spaces so that it will get this kind of pattern okay these spaces i'll add next initially i'll add this alphabets okay let's print the alphabets first how to print the alphabets here i'll write for int j is equal to 0 j less than or equal to i j plus plus like this i'll write the code guys this is for printing the alphabets this for loop is for printing the alphabets here why i'm saying j less than or equal to i because there is a reason guys in the first row how many alphabets are there in the first row only one alphabet second row two you see the row number is matching with number of alphabets that's the reason guys here i stands for the row so number of alphabets should also be the number of the row the row number is uh, kind of uh, first row then the number of times this inner for loop should iterate is only one time if the if it is for second row when i stands for second row then this inner for loop should iterate how many times two times because two alphabets need to be printed this inner for loop iterates two times then only we can print two alphabets so here we have to write a print statement guys system dot out dot 
here print ln is there you have to make it print normal print okay and here we need to print the alphabet how to print the alphabet here for that we have to do one more thing so what we'll do here is here i'll say int letter is equal to int letter is equal to some integer number i will give what 65 stands for so why i'm giving 65 and assigning it to the letter here integer number i am storing in the letter like 65 why i'm storing that for that let me explain something so open google and uh, search for ascii ascii table okay ascii table so ascii table.com this uh, url just click on that here you are going to see a table guys if you understand if you can look at this uh, capital letter a what is the value beside this capital letter guys 65 a is holding a as per the ascii table a is representing 65 whereas b is representing the ascii value as 66 like that 67 is for c 68 is for d 69 is for e 70 is for f and go on so here if i am why i am using 65 here and storing into letter because 65 represents what 65 represents the capital letter a guys we can easily convert this 65 into capital letter a during the program how to convert that very simple guys here we'll provide circular brackets and here i will say letter here letter okay so i have to convert this integer letter have holding the number 65 into a character associated character 65 to this capital letter a I have to convert for that here i will say char there is a reason guys why I, why i am not giving capital a here and why i am giving the number 65 okay there is a reason you will understand the logic okay so initially 65 number will give and uh, if you convert this uh, 65 into character char type it will be converted into this capital a fine cool now next thing is now next thing is so here we will tweak this logic a bit here i will say plus j okay here i will say plus j why i am adding j here i'll explain that so let's uh, let me explain this code now after adding this uh, letter with j and after after adding only we are converting into the character type so after adding this uh, j value the j index value to this letter then only we are converting this total number into character there is a reason why we have to do that you'll understand now uh, once i demo once i take an example and show you the flow you'll understand why we are doing this uh, thing here so initially i will set the i value to zero right i is zero initially i is zero so zero less than five is two zero less than five is two so i'll go inside the for loop now the inner for loop will come where j is also zero j is also zero initially right zero is this condition j is zero zero is less than or equal to i is also zero zero less than or equal to i true or false yes zero is equal to zero so this is true you go inside the for loop where it will print it has to print this letter letter is 65 plus j is 0 65 plus 0 is 65 you have to convert the 65 into char 65 when converted to character it will become capital a guys so here capital a will be printed okay now after printing a here the j will become j plus plus that is j will become from 0 to 1 now 1 less than or equal to i is still 0 1 less than or equal to 0 is false so we will come out of this for loop okay the first iteration this only a will be printed only a will be printed guys now i plus plus will happen i will become 1 1 less than 5 is 2 again the inner for loop will come j is 0 again 0 less than or equal to here i is 1 guys 0 less than or equal to 1 is true so i'll go inside so letter plus j is 0 guys okay in this iteration j is 0 so letter plus j is 65 plus 0 is 65 only when you convert that 65 into character what will come 65 into character a will come so again in the second row also in the second row what will be printed in the first row only a got printed in the second row a will be printed after that j will become 1 after printing this a here j will become 1 so 1 less than or equal to 1 true again go inside here 
letter plus j current value of j is 1 guys letter is 65 65 plus 1 it will become 66 when you convert 66 into character what will happen 66 into character it will become b guys so here in the second row b will be printed here in the second row b will be printed so j will become 2 2 less than or equal to i 1 is false will come out of the for loop so like this guys like this uh, this for loop will iterate 5 for 5 rows and uh, in every uh, iteration of the row the inner for loop will print a a b a b c a b c d a b c d kind of thing okay you are getting the point right why we are writing this kind of logic but guys there are few modifications we have to do here that is after printing the letter okay after printing the letter here as you can see here after after the letter got printed after the alphabet got printed there should be a space you see after every alphabet there is a space guys there is space like this how to get this space printed after printing the alphabet we have to print space guys how to do that for that simple guys after printing this alphabet this will print the alphabet just append that with a space that's it so what happens along with the alphabet a space will be printed so that you will see this kind of uh, gap between the alphabets this is expected pattern guys so we have to make sure that whatever the logic will write should match or get this kind of pattern so that's the reason we have to append space here done next thing so so far so good one more thing also we need to take care guys before moving forward that is for every row our control after printing the alphabets in every row our control has to go to the new row right like this after printing this row again the control has to come to the third row after printing the third row the control has to come to the fourth row and so on so for that to happen here here we are using normal print statement this will not take you to the new row right instead after the for loop after printing all the alphabets in a particular row using this for loop okay this alphabets in a single row will be single uh, i mean uh, rows will be printed after that will be done we'll say system dot out dot print ln guys when you say print ln after printing the let's say this particular for loop is printing the this row okay after printing this row we have to go to the new row right for that after this for loop we'll say print ln this will take you to the new row the control will come to the new row and thereafter the cycle will repeat the number of alphabets in the row will be printed then again we'll go to the new row like that so if you run the code you will not get this exact pattern okay you will get a a b a b c a b c d a b c d you will get but these spaces won't be there guys without these spaces you will get the pattern this initial spaces right here before printing a four spaces are there without these spaces you will get the pattern okay you will not get the perfect expected output but uh, reasonable output you will get when you run this you see you see this kind of pattern you will get here spaces are not there we, we have to still add spaces before this a four spaces we have to add before this a three spaces before a b and uh, two spaces before a b c and one space before a b c d here we don't have to add any spaces how to make this possible how can we make sure that uh, the spaces can be added further guys here before printing the alphabets here we need to create one more for loop we have to create one more for loop the purpose of the for loop is to print the spaces the purpose of this for loop is to print the spaces how to print the spaces for that i will say int some k is equal to okay some int uh, k is equal to what we can do is uh, start with one k less than phi minus i k plus plus let's see whether this logic will work uh, for printing that many number of spaces required number of spaces here inside this for loop we'll write system dot out dot normal print statement we'll put and we'll add a space here like this okay this uh, print statement will print the space but how many spaces will be printed in each row in the first iteration how many spaces will be printed in the second iteration how many spaces let's see that in the first iteration one two three four you see here we counted right four spaces in the first row should be printed how to do that? how to do that you, you see let's uh, see the logic whether this will work or not starting from k is equal to one the first iteration i will be the first iteration i will be zero guys i the value of i is zero so k is equal to one k less than phi minus zero k less than phi that means phi minus zero means phi right starting from k is equal to one till k less than phi one two three four are possible so how many spaces will be printed till four less than five is possible right so starting from one 
in every iteration this k value will be incremented so in the next iteration k will become 2 then 3 then 4 till 4 it's possible 4 less than 5 this condition will be true till k becomes 4 when k becomes 5 this condition will fail because 5 less than 5 will not happen right so 1 2 3 4 four times this for loop will iterate that means in the first row when i is equal to 0 four spaces will be printed here 1 2 3 4 spaces are needed that's fine this is working perfectly fine what about when i becomes 1 that is uh, when i becomes 1 this is the second row guys uh, when in case of second row starting with k is equal to 1 till k less than 5 minus 1 k less than 4 that means starting from 1 till 3 only 1 2 3 is are possible so three spaces will be printed when i becomes 2 it will be third row this will be third row and 5 minus 2 is 3 less than 3 that means 1 and 2 only two spaces in the third row when i becomes 3 that is fourth row 5 minus 3 less than 2 that means only one one space is possible when i becomes 4 that is fifth row 5 minus 4 5 minus 4 is 1 so k less than 1 zero spaces 1 less than 1 is not uh, true right so zero spaces will be printed this is perfectly fine you see here spaces should be like in the first row four then three then two one and uh, in the fifth row it should be zero spaces that's what is happening with this logic now let's run this code we'll get this expected triangle alphabet pattern guys okay expected pattern will be perfectly printed now when i run this code let's run this you see the expected triangle alphabet pattern got perfectly printed here as per the expected pattern it got printed so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to print triangle alphabet pattern so that's it guys thank you bye